Oh my word! Controlled over here. Alright, um, welcome back to Street Pigeon MTV. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if this ride's going to happen, if I'm honest with you. Um, heading down to New Leithen just now. Oh, I'm low on fuel as well. Um, hopefully riding with my buddy Alan, but weather is it's terrible man. Weather is absolutely awful. So, I actually don't know if I'm going to get out, but I'm going to try and stay optimistic. Actually, Alan's uh, offered to make me some breakfast, so that's always good. So I'm hoping after a bit of breakfast, a bit of good company, I uh, might be ready um, to, to head out. So let's get down to the Leithen, um, that's where I'm planning riding day. Uh, let's see if we can find a bit of stoke. Yeah, let's go. Right, I'm gonna stay positive. Pretend I'm gonna bike ride, gonna go and get some supplies for the ride. There's no jelly babies. Um, this day is not this day is not going well. Oh man, does a ride happen without jelly babies? That's throwing me as well. Right, uh, over to Alan's for breakfast and hopefully that'll get me in the vibe. I mean, we do have some sun. Awesome. Right, that was an awesome breakfast. Thank you, Alan. Sun is out. Woo. So, yeah, I think we're just look, gonna start pedaling, see where it takes us, but I'm, yeah, super pleased that the weather's looking better. Trails will be wet, but um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's get ready and go for it. Bike is not clean, <laughs> but it's gonna get dirty anyway, so that's all right. All right, so another outing on the, the new tires, the Vittoria Amazas, um, really loving them. Just getting the pressure sorted, they run a hell of a lot lower than the Maxxis I was on. Um, so I'm almost at the moment just seeing like how low I can actually get the pressure before I'm getting like dings in the rims and stuff. MT500 Ghost knee pads. If you hate knee pads and you find them uncomfortable, you will absolutely love these. So I'm gonna get them on and not film that. So Alan provided the breakfast. Alan's also running these Vittoria Mazas. He was the guy that tried, persuaded me to give them a go. So yeah, so far very good. See how they deal with these very mixed conditions I'm sure we're about to get at the golfy. Ah, the struggle is real folks. I've had a bit of the man flu and I'm quite a, quite a soft guy really. I know oh my goodness, this climb has proven to be quite hard work. Good chance for me to get my excuses in early with Alan though. <laughs> but yeah, onwards and upwards think, well we're going to make the plan up as we go along. Right, I think we are going to do uh, right side Clyde. Uh, so I'm just getting into the light. A um, well, little bit of a warm up run for sure. Um, as I said, fairly dying on the climb today, but just get a wee warm up and see how, um, see how it go. Uh, it's weird, it was absolutely peeing it down. To look at, the trails look like not, not insanely wet, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I know it's been pretty windy and pretty warm, so it's maybe just drying them out. But yeah, right side Clyde, just down, down there. I'll go and see, go and see what they're like. Another test for the tyres. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, tyres, man! <laughs> Are you pleased you came out, Chef? I'm a what? <laughs> Are you pleased? You, you pleased you came out, Chef? Always. always. <laughs> Just tweaking, doing some performance tweaks. <laughs> oh, look at this content! <laughs> right, cruisy one. Get the old bones warmed up. Oh. 
I was a shock to the system when you drop in the first trail for me. Why is it this dry? That's weird. Really weird. I think it's that wind. It's obviously drying out the trail. Whoa. Is this had work on it? Hold on a second, Alan. Actually, my helmet's loose. I'm just tightening my helmet, sorry. Helmet's loose. Has this had work on it? I thought I saw somebody on the trail there. Ah, okay. There might be, that's... Ah, uh, just take it easy. Just fresh work up. Ah, uh, the trail looks like it's having a wee spruce up. Tighten my helmet, it was a bit rattly. Oh, aye. Fresh. Whoa. Oh yeah boy, some trail that. I think this was since it was first built, I just always thought this is an absolute class trail. Great foresight to build such a good trail. Woo. Some of these are quite committing now. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Whoa, narrow as you like. Oh, ah, you're gone, buddy. I'm blown out my hoop. I'm feeling that That's cold. That's so good, though. Actually, almost perfect riding conditions. It's it's pretty fast. That. Oh man, so good to get out after being ill. But also, I am hooked. I couldn't see Alan at all. He was gone, and I was absolutely ah, breathing breathing heavily so hopefully that's uh, not a disgusting sound on the commentary but yeah it was really good trails at the moment around the golf here like peak condition they're damp not super wet and just so fast so that's a lot of fun right that was that was a really good warm-up um, had some had some of those strawberries I bought in the co-op yeah actually pretty good Possibly not as good as the Jelly Babies, but pretty good. So yeah, just gonna go on to the next trail. Maybe Jolis, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna take this wee route up. It's like a kind of wee push up. Gets you up the hill quite well, so. Ah, let's go for it. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah, we're pushing. I was just saying we're pushing. Yeah, Alan was just saying conditions are Unbelievably prime at the moment. Grip is so high. Uh -huh. It comes off there, stabilizers comes right out of here, and then joins that there. That goes through and joins Jollis as well. So I've been mountain biking the valley for eight years now, folks. I still don't know what half of these trails are. I do. I don't think I've ridden that. That's. You think that's off camber slammer? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Oof. Might be all right in today's conditions, though, with the grip at the moment. Holy smoked. Ugh. Okay. I'm broken pigeon, mate. Ugh. Lungs are not with me today. That wind's pretty insane, isn't it? You can see why the trails are dry. Yeah, you can see why they're in good condition. You're very, uh, you're very well colour matched today, actually. Quite good attention to detail, helmet and bum bag and then the orange and the helmet, that's... I know there's a quite a lot of wind now and there's a load of rain over there as well. Right, we're trying to plan as we go along. We're thinking of going doing community service, which is... Yeah, I mean, I'm, oh, I'm apprehensive about every trail, but it's 
quite a last time I rode it, it's a pretty nagery trail. Like it's got um it used to have some pretty big drops to roll through, so just go down. See what it's like. Man, it's windy, eh? I'll follow you, I won't see you for long, but I'll I'll be I'll be there somewhere my friend. It's been a long time since I've ridden this trail. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, yeah. We've got some big drops there. Ah, I've got water in my eyes, damn it. Can't actually see so well. Oh, cool trail. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's solid! Chilly night. Nice. Oh, what a great trail. Whew. My legs are burning, suffering from this illness I've had. It's definitely a quad burner. Oh. Oh, I'm really struggling to commentate. Just uh, focusing on the trail. Oh, what is that? Oh, nearly lost a foot there. Oh, really difficult to spot the line. There's a few different things going on there. But I've got to say, that is fantastic. Oh. Hiya! Yeah. How are you doing? You alright? <laughs> I need a rest! <laughs> My quads! I've got to say, that was fantastic! I dug half that trail! A man who's slightly physically broken but also having one of the best times. I don't know what it is. I, honestly, I get myself in such a state before I come to golfy. And I, I, I actually can't explain why. Because honestly, head down trails and I love it. And community service, that is Fantastic, what a what a good trail. So pleased to have ridden that again. So just quickly for the, the geeks of those interested, I've recently started running much higher um, stem, loads of spacers, high rise carbon bars. And what's that done is that the front of the bike is higher. I think the carbon bars have taken a little bit of a chatter out the trail. Had the fork service also because that's a big thick case and tyre, I'm able to run it lower pressure. The front end of that bike is feeling the best it's ever felt. It's given me so much more confidence. I just need to get used to pushing it a bit, but whew, really good. Oh, see the trees by me. Weather. <laughs> Can you give us a weather update, Alan? It's raining. <laughs> it's, it's proper raining, isn't it? <laughs> Aye, onwards and upwards. Oof. Oh, that is quite rough. Yeah. Reason, just Let's go and have a look underdog. So yeah, maybe I'll chat as we ride down folks. Um, this whole side of the hill for me is a bit of a, a weird mental battle. Um, because I've actually standard myself on a trail called Second Base and I'm really bad for associating areas with accidents and not being sensible and coming back and getting over it, but just kind of not riding it again. So we're going to go and try our trail underdog, which is on pretty much the same section of the hill as uh, these trails. And the, the kind of hallmark of this area, just as ahead of us, is tend to be fairly steep, tight cornered trails. You can often get a lot of like off camber nagery sections. Now I'm totally capable of riding it, 
because I'm actually really bad for telling myself I can't do stuff, but this is definitely a psychology game for me. So I'm gonna try and get a positive narrative around it. And what I need to remember is, I don't need to feel embarrassed if I can't ride something on YouTube in front of you guys, because, I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? All that matters is you go out on bikes and have fun. So I will just mosey my way down the trail and see how I get on. Okay, so we are at Underdog entrance just behind me. So, as I was just saying, I just need to look ahead, tell myself I can do it, and as I say, if I have to stop and walk or do anything, it doesn't really matter, does it, at the end of the day? Um, so, Underdog, here we go. Into the unknown. Oh, Nadgeri already. Super Nadgeri. There's like a web of roots all over this. Whew. I've seen someone ride this very fast and I've got nothing but respect for them now because this is narrow as you like. Whew. Yeah, boy. It's very similar to ALF and Spanners, Nadgeri. Oh, God. Yeah, I just thought you hard about that. Yeah. Should have just done that. So yeah, you probably just need to have speed on that, don't you? It's actually just a little push, I'll just do that one, I think. <laughs> so yeah, that one, you probably just... Oh. That, that chicken line is quite hard, actually. Whoa! Oh my god! This is full on. Yeah, Brendan, if you're watching this, you probably won't be, but I've seen your videos of this. You are a madman. Oh, oh my word! That is ridiculous. So please, we got good grip there. That's, I mean, so psychological though, because if you look at that, that looks unreal steep. Yeah, you just keep looking down. But I just went so heavy on the brakes and slow. Nice. Brilliant, yeah. Really nice trail, like. Really well built as well. There's a wee bit of skidding on the way down, but yeah. it's helped. It's helped now, I mean, stuff like this, I don't know why I don't ride this more. Because it's actually, like, the joy, even when you're riding it slowly, it's still a joy to just get over it and through it. So to whoever built this trail, whoever you are, like fair play, it's actually pretty spectacular. Just gonna not get too hyped and first time on the trail, so just trying to get down it. Whoa, that was natural. Right. Okay, yeah, this is pretty full on, I've got to be honest. Oh, oh. Take it easy, look ahead, what have we got? I think that's a straight forward. Ooh. Oh. Wow, dude. So what's that? That was the second annoying wee bit that it got me last time. Actually, there's a perfectly good light right through there. But, you know. Quite, yeah, I see what you mean though, like it's quite tricky not to hit that tree and then... Yeah. I mean, that is Nadgeri, that's difficult. I've clipped my bars a couple of times, but that's just, there's an easy line right around there. I'm a bit annoyed with myself, so... <laughs> so what would you go? Would you go around that, like on the rocks to the right, do you think? Yeah, just up where your front wheel's going. Just go there, controlled yeah. over here? Yeah. Don't know if where you... If you come too wide, you just switch back over here. If you come too narrow, there's a wee bit of pedal strike, a wee bit of bar there. You come round there, there onto this rock and just straighten this out here and then round. Don't know whether to try it. So just front over. <sighs> I might, I don't know, I'm gonna see how I feel when I come into it. So yeah, so wide over the rock and then over the second rock. Yeah. Whew. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, boy. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't celebrate because it was so bloody steep after it. So stoked for that. So stoked. Right. Don't get overexcited. Just uh, enjoy and focus on getting down the trail. I oh, should have gone out to the left there. Right. Yeah, like I say, kind of uh, not pushing it. I just actually want to get down the trail. Maybe can go a bit faster when I come back next time now that I know it. But. Yes! Oh, oh there's more trails, sorry, I thought that was it. Oh, this is very different in nature now. Oh. Oh, I'm glad he got the downhill casings on now. Or oh, sorry, the enduro casing, I should say. Oh, yes! Oh! So proud of that. How good the trail is that? Yeah? Really good trail. And so pleased I rode that. Oh, there you go, folks. If you are like me and you're a bit of an anxious rider and you're putting off trails, just go and do them. That took a really good approach there. Bit of advice from Alan, just took it super chill, focused on riding well. And I've actually had nothing but fun going down that trail. It wasn't super fast, but I loved it. It was a challenge for me and I guess that's what it's all about, eh? So yeah, that was, that was unreal. So yeah, whoever built that trail, fair play to you. That's a bit of Tweed Valley gold right there. How you doing, boss? All right, loving the gold. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Foot off the pedal, which forced me onto a pretty ropey line. That was dodge. That was me giving it all the big licks after getting down that previous trail and then nearly making a colossal mess of it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I rode that on top of it like an absolute ball bag. Ah. Oh God, you know what? I didn't think we were going to get out today. And we've had another bloody brilliant day. So, the moral of the story is, just get out and ride bikes. Oh. Lovely wee bridge. Oh, I made it out. I'm happy to take you for lunch, my friend. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh. A bike. This is ultra vlog. <laughs> nice. Well, what a day on the bikes. Uh, really thought that was going to be basically a non-event. Weather was absolutely shocking, but um, had breakfast while it rained, went out and then ended up having an absolute ball. Super pleased I rode underdog. Um, so yeah, ride trails that you're scared of, because I had been purposely avoiding that trail since it was built, um, building it up in my head, and actually, even though I didn't ride it fast, it was just so rewarding to get down that trail. Um, absolutely loved it. So definitely turn a uh, potentially non-riding day into a really good day. Absolutely not feeling that great. <laughs> Just been really getting over this thing, uh, this sort of cold thing and uh, struggling a bit on the trails today but I'm still good to get out. So yeah, don't know where I'm going next, don't know what order I'm putting out these videos. I'm heading for a wee holiday 